What we have here today is a modern fan company, Cirrus Hugger. Or as it's now known, the Cirrus Flush. However, I'm going to use the Hugger term because that's what its original name was. Anyway, this is a 52 inch fan, three blade. It is from March, it was dated March 2000. So. As you can see here, it has the little as a the little 350 light or whatever the hell that was. It's basically yeah, it's a very small. It's a par 16 light, little spotlight, little halogen spotlight that comes out of the bottom. Let me get closer. may also notice it's a bit phallic in nature. And the light kit could represent an orifice, but yeah, I'm not going to go too far into that. This fan is one of the more interesting modern fan company models. Interesting in the sense that this is one of maybe four or five modern fan company models that uses a stack motor. All right, most of their models were spinner motor fans, but some of them were stack. The Cirrus, the Cirrus Hugger as seen here, the Industry, the Whirly Bird, which is very rare, and I think the Pensy, but don't quote me on that. Those ones, at least those four that I mentioned prior to the Pensy, those ones had a GE stack motor in them. Which made them more powerful than your average model. The Cirrus, now, the Cirrus, the Cirrus Hugger, and such, these are not overly common models. I think they were a little more expensive, and I think probably still are more expensive. Okay. Mostly what you see is the Stratus. Sometimes the industry. But the Cirrus models, you don't see very many of them. Now, the light kit on this one like I said, it's a PAR-16 bulb in that. It uses a medium base. At some point, the Department of Energy banned the use of PAR-16 bulbs, or at least a medium base for such lamps, and made them GU-10. This switch happened in 2011, and the light kit was discontinued in 2017. It is an integrated light kit. The reverse switch for the fan is actually Underneath the entire light housing, it's actually inside on the bit that the light actually bolts onto. So you have to take the entire nose off the fan in order to reverse it, which is kind of dumb. However, now, now the Cirrus is DC, and I think it still uses a stack motor. I haven't seen one yet. I'm not really sure what it uses, but yeah. It's currently DC, and I can only imagine that it's reversible now from the control. Now, as seen here, I'm using FanSync. Fanimation FanSync. Bluetooth connectivity, the receiver is inside the upper part of the housing. So now let's see how it performs. This is low. Let's put the light, light down to about 43%. So, the low speed is actually, it, it's not bad a little faster than the Emerson heat fan I recently reviewed but the different motors are still slightly different like I said this one uses a general electric stack motor they say oh it's it's, it's Chinese oh it's imported it's still GE product you know because Emerson's k55s aren't made in America anymore either and yet we still call them k55s we don't call them import k55s no 
still a good old GE stack. However, it seems as though these have pretty much bit the dust, because again, now everything is DC. The GE stack motor was also used in the Quorum Dragonfly in both 60 and 72 inch flavors. As well as a couple other oddball fans, but, um, yeah. The flywheel is the entire bit that the blade's attached to. It's all metal. Just connected directly to, directly to the shaft. It looks so phallic. Yeah, the Cirrus Hugger is less common than the Cirrus. There was a good while when Skechers stores everywhere had brushed aluminum Cirrus models. You know, the standard model in all their stores. Then they all disappeared when they remodeled. Kind of stupid. Let's put it to medium now. Turn the light off. Back to full blast. The medium is not a bad medium. It, it's pretty average for, as far as mediums go. The blades are rather thin, you know, so they're not going to move that much air, and I th think the blade pitch is 12, but I will confirm that. High speed now. On high speed, this thing, of course, hauls ass. And because the blades are thinner, and because there are only three blades, there's less drag, which means a higher RPM. So the higher RPM kind of makes up for the pitch, or just the general puniness of the blades. Yeah, lately the light kit option for these fans has actually been an entire glass, you know, globe the same shape as the housing, or the same general shape as this one, which is a little brighter because this PAR-16 really only provides a straight down light, doesn't really light up much of the rest of the room. I mean, this light's good if the fan's on, say... A higher ceiling, maybe nine feet. But it, it's still a pretty focused beam of light. It doesn't really do too much for you. Now let's that coast. Should also be worth noting that this motor does have a bit of a a bit of harmonics. It does have a startup whine, or a moan rather. A medium pitched moan, medium to high pitch. Yeah, no, medium is correct. This is also one of the few huggers to have a stack motor. Very, very few of these were stack. So this is a bit of an oddity in that sense as well. And there you have it. 
a modern fan company, Cirrus Hugger. Cirrus Hugger.